Alright guys, what's up? Um, basically, I'm just going to show you how to use the 6xx downgrader version 4.10. So basically, the file I'm going to have you download is, I love how I get right to business. Um, the file you're going to have to download right here is the 6.xx downgrader version 4.1. I will have you download that. Now, as you can see, I will show you my firmware right here, which is uh, bum, 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 down. 6.60 ME 1.2. So, I'm running a custom firmware. Now, this is signed and this will work on official firmware. So, if you're on 6.60 official firmware and you want to downgrade, for God knows why, uh, because they have Pro, but for whatever reason, you can use this. So, um, here we go. So, we're going to open up these files or extract them by right clicking on them like so and extracting files like that. And you should see the folder 6.xx downgrader version 4.1. Open up that folder and you will see the PSP folder, the SRC folder, and the README text. PSP folder, game folder, downgrader, and you will see the eBoot. SRC folder. See all this fun shit. So, let's take a look at the README text. Blah, 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 blah. I love how this is all like hoopty doopty. Holy shit. Okay. 6.60, 6.39, 6.38, 6.35, and 6.31. Downgraded by Dave. Ported to blah, blah, blah. Someone. What does it do? Allows users who are in con who are in content with the firmware to downgrade to 6.20 using the Sony updater. Copy the PSP folder and blah blah blah. Okay, well, it doesn't work on custom firmware, but it does work on official firmware. So this is basically what you're gonna do. <sighs> USB mode. Die. USB. So you're gonna open up your PSP in USB mode. So this is what you're gonna do. Why does this come up every single time? There's nothing wrong with it. Computer, removable disk A. PSP game and what you are going to do is simply take the downgrader and put it in there like show and there you go once you're done with that you're gonna exit this exit that exit USB mode just reset this stupid thing it does this every goddamn time put that up any day now Now, let's take a look and see what this looks like. 6.20. That's what it's going to look like right there. That, right there. That's what you're looking at. And what you're going to do is just hit X and start that up. So, disconnect this. I'm going to start it. What? Who the fuck is that? Huh. Oh my god, there's people in my driveway. Hold on. Okay, so now I'm back to doing what I was supposed to be doing about an hour ago. Uh, my friends randomly showed up. I have such wonderful friends. I'm gonna tag them all in this fucking post on Facebook so they understand my glory. Um... But anyways, so uh, I think we left off at starting the game. But just in case, I'm just going to show it right here. You're going to look for the 6.20. So start that up. This will downgrade any 6xx custom firmware to 6.20. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this run up and uh, show you the installation screen. So let's pop this in. And that's what it's going to look like. You're going to see... By running this application and launching the SCE updater, you accept all responsibility of any damage, temporary or permanent, that may occur when using this application. This application has been tested with no loss or functionality or any damage to the system. However, it cannot be guaranteed to be completely safe. By running this application, you accept all the risk involved. Press X to start the SCE updater. So basically, all you got to do is just tap X and it will start. But I'm not downgrading because I'm on custom firmware. So I'm just going to press R to exit and it will exit the game. 
bored of me. Now I'm going to put a grape in my mouth. And that's that. That's how you do that. So I will have the link for download in the information below. And also, uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and send me a message. I will happily reply to you. And um, yeah, so that's about it. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my website and blog. You'll see those pop up at the beginning of the video in the templates, as well as in the information below this video. And be sure to leave your questions in the moderator for your questions answered, which that video will be going up tonight. So without further ado, I bid you farewell, and hopefully this downgrader shall help you. Take it easy, guys. I'll talk to you later.